Hey, New Hope, Pastor Kerry here. I'm standing across the street from Adventureland, and as you can see, the roller coaster and the water park are pretty quiet and empty now. Hopefully, they're gonna open in time for some good summer fun, but at this point, who knows? Everything's been closing down, and the future right now seems pretty uncertain. Quite honestly, over the last couple weeks, life has felt a lot like one of these roller coaster rides. The political scene has been up and down, the economy has taken us on a wild ride, and people's emotions are being thrown for a loop. And quite honestly, it probably feels like all we can do is hang on and ride things out. But no matter what's going on around us, no matter how other people are reacting, we don't have to be shaken by the political environment, by the economy, uh, by our own emotions, or even by the threat of illness, because God's presence provides peace over anxiety and allows us to choose faith over fear. You know, through the prophet Isaiah in chapter 41:10, God told the people of Israel something he's still telling us today. He said, do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And that promise holds true even in the midst of a worldwide pandemic. Now, you may have heard some scientific experts kind of describe how COVID-19 runs its course and they probably showed a chart that looks something like this roller coaster. It starts low and kind of builds up before it tapers off again. And they've talked a lot about the need to flatten that curve so that we don't see a spike in the rate of infection. That's why there's been all these shutdowns and all the social distancing because they're trying to flatten that curve and stay ahead of the outbreak. Well, by trusting God, we can flatten the curve of our emotions. We can be more level-headed. We can be at peace when everybody else is in a panic. In John chapter 14, 27, Jesus tells us, peace I leave with you, my peace I give. I do not give you what the world gives, so don't let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. And even when we are afraid and anxious, 1 Peter 5, 7 says, cast your anxiety upon me for I care for you. The bottom line is this, we don't have to fear what the future may hold because we know the one who holds the future. And none of this has taken God by surprise. We know that he's always with us, so we can indeed choose faith over fear and peace over anxiety. So don't let the news reports, don't let other people's emotions, don't let the lack of hand sanitizer or toilet paper uh, take your faith away. Remember, faith and peace are things that show the most when times are difficult and uncertain. So if we can stay calm, and content and full of peace at a time like this, I believe we're gonna have a lot of opportunity to inspire faith and confidence in people around us. So be at peace, keep the faith, and I'll see you soon.